uh, let us move to the anatomical features of each part. First, rhizome. Rhizome, listen, is the underground uh, structure. Anatomically, it is divided into three major parts: epidermis. This represents the cortex and a stela region. Epidermis is the outermost layer, which is compact in arrange, arrangement, which is followed by the cortex. Cortex is differentiated into three major zones. This represents the outer cortex. Okay, and this small portion represents the middle cortex, and inner to middle cortex is the uh, inner cortex. So let us see what are the tissues uh, of uh, uh, what are the tissues in each uh, cortical parts. Outer cortex is parenchymatous. It is composed of uh, some spaces in between. This spaces is known as aerenchyma. Uh, the spaces are formed by the uh, cells which are known as aerenchyma. And the chamber represents the air chamber. And the roof or the structures which are responsible for this air chambers are known as trabeculae. Or the structures which makes this air chamber are known as trabeculae. So, inner to the outer cortex is middle cortex, which is a few layered sclerangema. Okay? Inner to the sclerangema is zone, which is inner cortex, which is a compactly arranged parenchyma. Inner to the inner cortex is the innermost layer of endoramnus, which is uh, innermost layer of cortex which is endodermis followed by pericycle, phloem, xylem. But the stela organization is a peculiar one in rhizo, in marsilium. This arrangement is known as amphibia. Amphifloic siphonostium. Amphifloic siphonostium. What is a siphonostium? Siphonostium is, a, is an advanced type of steel having a central pit which is surrounded by xylem and are surrounded by phloem. So, what is Amphi. The term amphi represents two. Amphistomatous condition. You might have heard about amphistomatous condition. Stomata on both upper and lower pyramids. So amphi means two sides. Phloic means phloem on two sides. On two sides of what? On two sides of cilia. So this is known as amphifloic siphonostium. So now let us look at how amphifloic siphonostium is organized in a rhizome of Mars. So this represents the endodermis. I have mark O for for understanding, this endodermis represents the outer endodermis. So, outer endodermis followed by outer pericycle, followed by outer phloem. Xylem is single. Okay? Xylem. Then comes the outer phloem. Sorry, inner phloem. Inner pericycle. Inner endodermis and the central situated pit. So, this is the organization of amphifloic siphonostium. So, coming to uh, the close observation of this uh, stela region, you can see 
central this is xylem strand on both the side of the xylem strand you can see outer phloem which is outer to the xylem outer phloem and inner to the xylem is inner phloem so this is how amphiphloic siphonostele is organized okay amphiphloic siphonostele in brief we can see three different structures when we take anatomy of rhizome they are epidermis cortex steel epidermis is single layer which is compactly arranged beneath the epidermis you can see the cortex which is differentiated into outer erangematous cortex middle sclerangematous cortex and inner compactly arranged parangematous cortex outer cortex which is erangematous having a lot of air chambers which are formed by uh, specialized cells which are known as trabeculae just below this outer erangematous cortex is clearangema then which is a few, few layered cortex middle cortex inner parangema then it represents the sclera region which is very peculiar in uh, rhizome of marsupia they are amphiphloic siphonostele having a central scleragematous pit with one single strand of xylem which are encircled both outer and inner side by phloem that is the representation will be like this this will represent the xylem and this will represents outer phloem inner phloem outer pericycle outer endodermis inner inner pericycle inner endodermis so the order will be outer endodermis outer pericycle outer phloem then say then inner phloem inner pericycle inner endodermis so the last layer of the steel will be will be inner endodermis okay so this is about the anatomical features of anatomical features of right moving to the next section that is the anatomy of pedicure which is somewhat similar to uh, the anatomy of rhizome having outer epidermis air and air mantis outer cortex but here sclerangematous structures are uh, very few and parangematous uh, in inner cortex is uh, modified into chlorangema this inner zone is inner zone is modified to chlorangema in pt okay so the steela region which is composed of endodermis followed by pericycle i am not represented the whole structure here but uh, i have already uh, told you the structure of steel in rhizome section so endodermis is there pericycle is there followed by phloem a centrally v shaped or a small c shaped xylem uh, strands can be seen they are arranged exact okay this is the structure of uh, pt the anatomy of pt then next section is leaf or leaflet internally it is divided into outer epidermis 
इनर एपिडर्म इनर एपिडर्म इज बोथ आर क्यूटिनाइज एंड इन सम स्पीशीज यू कैन सी स्टोमैटा विल बी प्रेजेंट ऑन द लोअर सरफेस ओनली ओके दिस इज अ पेक्युलियरिटी ऑफ हाइड्रोफैटिक सॉरी इन सम स्पीशीज इन हाइड्रोफैटिक स्पीशीज स्टोमैटा आर रेस्ट्रिक्टेड टू अपर साइड the lower side will will float on the surface of the uh, water so in hydrophytic species stomata are restricted to upper side but in some species stomata are restricted to lower side so amphistomatous condition is uh, dominant in some species but some species they are restricted to upper or lower epidermis only so here uh, the parenchyma Uh, ground parenchyma is differentiated into palisade tissue uh, mesophyll tissue which is differentiated into palisade and a spongy tissue with large intercellular spaces centrally you can see their steel endodermis is there pericycle is there xylem core which is surrounded by phloem which is a typical protostelic condition okay coming to the internal anatomy of root it is somewhat similar both these structures that is rhizome petiole root is somewhat similar in uh, in epidermis epidermal characters cortical characters cortical characters okay in vascular structure they they may differ okay so coming to the internal anatomy of root It is also having an uh, outer epidermis followed by an parenchyma. Uh, Sclerenchymatous layer is very few or absent in root, and which is followed by ground parenchyma followed by endodermis, pericycle, and a central core of xylem, which is exarch in condition, which is followed by floor. So this is about the internal anatomy of uh, rhizome, petiole. leaf and root